Back to my take. On the left, boycotting in and out Burger. Here to comment, Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor, and our market watcher, David Barnson. I'm going to start with you, mm -hmm. Tammy. Did I rant too much or what? No, uh, at In-N-Out, you can order animal style. You get a special sauce. That was an animal style opening. <laughs> oh, that was God. fabulous. <laughs> and, and look, I'm a Californian. Oh. Uh, I love uh, the, the free market. Uh, In-N-Out is an incredible company. Uh, this is a microcosm of the problem with the Democratic Party. Striking blindly because of ideology, hurting their own base. Uh, at uh, In-N-Out, uh, the minimum wage in California is $11 an hour. They pay their uh, workers $13 an hour. You can work yourself up, uh, regardless of your educational background, to being a manager at $160,000 a year. That is more than the average lawyer in California, the, more than the average worker in Silicon Valley who makes $114,000 a year. The average lawyer you make 117,000. Glassdoor says that in and out is the fourth best place to work in America, beating out Google and Microsoft. Uh, it is or, it, the, the benefits are extraordinary. The Democrat Party in that with the leader of the Democrat Party calling for a, a boycott strikes at their very own base where they can make enough money to support their own candidates, to live their own lives best. It's a perfect example of why California is going down the drain, why Democrats destroy people's lives, especially the lives of their own people, because they do not think it is an immediate emotional rage. This company will not only survive, it will prevail. Uh, and it will uh, clearly, for workers across the country, and certainly in California, is a place where you can make your own decisions and make a good life for yourself and your family. And shame on the Democrats. And it is why California it goes down and why the Democrat Party will fail in November because they think of no one but themselves. You know, I thought I delivered a rant. I mean, that, was, that was pretty I'm good. I'm feeling special me. sauce myself and animal style myself ah. today. Let's turn to David Barnson, <laughs> who happens to live both in California and New York. And I think you know in and out Burger, not as a customer mm. so much. I, I think you know the, uh, the granddaughter of the founder. Well, so she's the CEO and, and has been for some time in her 30s, uh, tremendously successful. Do you think they could take this company public? Have you seen what the multiples have done in that smart fast food? You look at uh, El Pollo Loco and, and some of these great fast food chains. Hamburger Habit has gone public. She won't do it. They don't need to do it. They, they, they don't want that extra scrutiny for no reason. It's things like this. But, but Tammy's point is exactly right. First of all, I want to say selfishly, I hope they go through with the boycott. The less lines in the drive through when I bring my yes. kids Saturday afternoon, the Get better. Get the liberals out of the way. Yeah, just I'd rather kind of have a little you know, less time there. But <laughs> it's well worth it. It's the greatest burger at a fast food restaurant in America. It is. Yeah. It's, you know, when, I, when, I wanna, when I go to fast food, I want it fast. Now, the problem yeah. is it's the only it's food good. I'll but take in good. California over New York. It's the only one. Yes. But, but it is. all that to say, this is an insane thing for their own ideology. They say they want higher labor uh, wages. Th this is a company doing everything you would think they want. Okay. And, and because yeah. they've they also put given Bible to Democrats, place. they've also given to Democrats, and it is the only yes. restaurant chain in Glassdoor's top 50 of the best places to work. The only restaurant chain. Okay. But, they, but the fact that they did this after a, con a very small contribution to the Republican Party, they've also oh. given to other Democratic yes, groups they and have. so forth. They they, have. They've played bipartisan. Idiotic. But it's, it's a, a hostility to the faith. And, and that's what I believe this is coming mm. from. Uh, well said, Bob. Mm. All right, hold on, everybody. I want to check in with you. I'll check with you later. Right now, uh, check those big tech names. We follow them closely. Look at this. Facebook is down a fraction. Amazon's up uh, 16 bucks, 2018. Microsoft is, I think that's a new high, 112.54. Google's down a bit, but Apple, that's the standout there. Now it's at $228 a share. However, my good friend uh, David Barnson, sitting right next to me here, he's finished his California rant. He says... <laughs> You say, you say these big tech companies, they've gone as far as they're going to go. Well, I do, well, Sell them? No, I, I don't say that about Apple. Okay, so we put okay. all the names up there together. Yep. You look at that. What, one of these names is not like the other. Apple is trading at a very reasonable market multiple. Tons of cash on the balance sheet. Tons of dividends being returned to shareholders. You know that's what I talk about. The, the ability of shareholders to monetize their investments, not just depend on more and more multiple expansion. Who would have thought Amazon's up 16 bucks today and it's 0.8%? Yeah. Right. I mean, this, this stock is trading through the roof, and I'm not saying it can't go higher. 
I'm saying on a risk-reward basis, there are better opportunities in the market. Big tech is relying on more investors piling in to get a higher multiple expansion. Yep. That's not an investable thesis for me. Your whole investment philosophy is dividends. You it's, want it's dividend growth. It Safe. is based on the ability to grow the dividend that they pay to us because the free cash flow of the company is growing. So it's not just dividend and it's not just a high dividend. It's a growing dividend indicating a growing company. Okay. That's what we do. Apple's doing it. Okay. The other names are not. Can you give me a couple of stocks where the dividend is growing and where the dividend is safe? I can Have give you, you 33 stocks. They're all in my portfolio. No, give me a couple of the good ones. <laughs> uh, the two I would highlight for you are Blackstone, which we've talked about on the show uh, before, and Verizon. Okay. Verizon's a great example. They're not getting cute and panicking and going out trying to buy cable companies and leveraging mm. up $170 billion of debt. Not that I'm making a reference to AT&T or anything. <laughs> but, okay. but in Blackstone's case, again, High free cash flow growing the dividend to shareholders. Okay. Now